there kids, this is Mike at the Mouse here, and today I'm going to be talking about using a graphic organizer called the Timeline. Now as the name suggests, the Timeline is a graphic organizer that will help you organize the sequence of events within a specific story. Usually timelines are used when we're talking about history. So for this particular exercise, I'm going to show you how to make a timeline telling my day-to-day -day life. So, if you would join me as we make ourselves a timeline. Now, when we make a timeline, there are two ways we can do it. We can do it from left to right, which would be called horizontal line, or we can go vertical, which would be up and down. In this case, I'm going to show you a vertical timeline. So, here we go. So, we start here with a line going down. Alright, that's simple enough. Then up here at the top, we will go right here. So we have a line at the top, and then a line, whoop, sorry about that. And then we have a line down here. Now the top line will represent the beginning of my timeline, and down here will represent the end of my timeline. So, now that we have the basics of what a timeline will look like, well, just for, for, the, for you guys, if you wanna make a horizontal timeline, the same same idea. You go like this, and you go this, and this. The left side represents the beginning of your timeline, and the right side will represent the end of your timeline. So, let's go ahead and get started with our timeline. Now, we will start at the beginning of our timeline. So, I will start first with the time, or the date. In this case, I'm going to use time since it's going to be cataloging my day. So I got up around like five o'clock. Okay, so that was the day, how, the beginning of my timeline. And we'll be over here. I'm going to say what I did. In this case, I'm going to say ate breakfast. I'm going to have Mr. Sims write it down because he's a better writer than I am. All right, so this is how the, my, the beginning of my timeline would look like. Then, as I begin to catalog another event in my life, which would be right here, I'm gonna put a, another dash, and I'm gonna say eight o'clock. Okay, eight o'clock. And I'm gonna put over here, I'm gonna say work begins. That's when I come to school. When I come to the work, work begins. And then that's one important part of my timeline. Then I'll go down here, I put another dash mark. And I'm gonna put down 11 o'clock. All right, and what I'm gonna say there is lunch. That's when I ate my lunch, okay? And I'll keep on going, and then go down to my next dash, and I'm gonna say four o'clock. I'm gonna say went home. Which leads me now to the last part of the timeline. And I'm gonna put down here, I'm gonna say nine o'clock. And then I would put down here, went to sleep. All right, can everyone see that? Good. So, beginning, all the way down to the end. Notice I put the date or the time on the left side and I put the thing I did on the right side. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And then all the way to the end as I told how I ended my day. Now that I've shown you how to make a timeline, I think you could easily make a timeline on your own. I believe you're going to be reading a story about a famous person. So, use the information I show you to make a timeline about that famous person. Hope to see you soon. Talk to you, talk to you later. And remember, work hard in all that you do, because we believe in you.